We are creating die cut stickers today using Silhouette Studio and I have it open right now. So I'm going to drag my sticker designs that I'm going to print off into the program. And if you guys want to see how I designed uh, one of my old sticker designs, you can watch my previous video. And now I have the sticker design that I'm going to use and I'm just going to click off the registration marks because I just, I don't need them today. And I'm going to hit select trace area, drag a box around the sticker design. And I want to make sure solid fill is highlighted and I want to drag the threshold all the way completely up until everything inside the sticker, everything inside the sticker is highlighted yellow. But I see I have a few um, spots um, that are missing, but I'm gonna click trace anyway. And so you see, once I click the trace button and I zoom in and you see the red line around the sticker, this red line is what's going to guide the silhouette to actually make the cuts. Okay, so this is a break from the regular video. This is just a quick tip that I wanted to incorporate in this video as well. So you see you have your 12 by 12 mat on the screen, which is identical to the mat that comes with the studio, um, I'm sorry, with the silhouette cameo. And you can also purchase these mats um, online, you know, separate from the Silhouette Cameo itself. But anyway, um, so you have the mat underneath in the gray portion, and then on top is the paper size. The paper size is very important. You want to set it accordingly. So if you're printing on a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of paper, um, a letter size, an A4 size, you want to make sure that you have the right paper size inside the program as well. And so, as you can see, it's giving you um, a lot of pre-made options over here that you could use, and also some custom options that you could type in as well. So you wanna make sure your paper size on your mat is the exact same that you are printing on and cutting on when you're using um, Silhouette. This program is amazing. It also has other options like other machines you can use along with Silhouette Studio besides the Cameo itself. And by clicking this drop down menu, you can see all the other cutting machines that are available or that are compatible with this program. So another feature you can use is the rotate feature where you can flip the mat any which way you want. Flip it 90 degrees. 360, 75 degrees, I guess, if you wanted to. And also, you have different grid options, like the isometric grid or just a regular grid or whatever. It also gives you an option to snap to grid, but I'm just gonna leave it off. And so um, another tip is I want to show you guys how to resize your design within the program. Okay, so if you guys look to your top um, kind of left and you'll see the length and the width of the design, you have to click the design first and then you can type in whatever size that you want, 5, 10, 15, whatever. And yeah. And that has been my quick tip. Now let's get back to the regular video. So what I want to do is select the red outline and then go to the offset preset. And then I want to click offset. And you can see the white space. I guess you can call it um, a white border it created. All right. And you can adjust the size. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want to. And I see a few strays that I am going to delete as well because if I don't, those two will also get cut within um, the stickers and um, I don't want that. So we're gonna delete, we're gonna select the, the little stray red areas and I'm just going to hit delete. All right, so now we have a clean sticker design. Looks pretty good thus far. 
And so, I'm gonna zoom out here for a bit. And then I'm going to go into my um, replicate panel. And as you can see, it gives us many options. You can move um, the artwork down, the artwork in any direction. So here we're gonna select the artwork and we're gonna move it down. But you see it did not bring the red outline along with the design. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to have to select the outline as well as the design. So we're gonna select both the outline and the design and I'm going to duplicate it, <clears throat> sorry duplicate it downward because both of these sticker designs are um, five inches long and wide and this is a letter size which is a eight and a half by eleven size paper so I'm pretty much fitting two on this sticker sheet that I have and here I'm about to print first and I am just adjusting my settings. So the first print, I always do like a test print, but sometimes the test print don't really matter much because when I actually print on the actual sticker paper, the print, they kind of move like from a different position. So it kind of doesn't matter to me but I still kind of do the test print anyway uh, to test the ink, my ink levels, you know. That's mainly why I do the test print, but the test print and on, on plain paper versus the test print on my sticker paper, it always seems to move up a bit. I'm not sure why. If anybody can tell me down in the comment section you know why that is or how I can fix that please let me know and so now I am in the process of printing the papers so let's go see what those look like so here we have the test prints and the actual prints the test print is on the plain paper the sticker paper is the glossy paper which is the actual print and I know from this footage you cannot tell which is which because of my poor lighting, I am so sorry. And since the designs are actually moved up a little higher on the sticker paper, I need to go into Silhouette and adjust. Now in Silhouette, it is definitely important to make sure you are very accurate. So this is what I'm going to do. Because my stickers printed out the way they did on the sticker sheet, I'm going to move it accordingly. I want to get as close as I possibly can to match the sticker sheet. Um, on the outside versus what I see here in the based on what I see in the computer itself because if everything does not match things will be off so right now I'm trying to match up what I see in the real world versus what I see on the silhouette so I'm making sure inch by inch square by square everything matches perfectly all right, this looks pretty good. Our document is set up. We're gonna click send so we can start cutting. The red line is what Silhouette is going to cut out when it cuts your design out on the sticker sheet. And so we wanna make sure we have our settings correct. So we're going to select sticker paper and it's white. For other options, here's a drop down menu you could use. Um, we're gonna stick with sticker paper white and you wanna make sure the line color selected is red to start the cut. And here also, as you can see, um, a little bit above, you see where the force and the speed is. Those are just like automatic settings that comes with your paper option that you choose above. You can change that. You can make the force more or less. You can make the speed more or less, just depending on what you need for your paper. And I've already hit send, so it's in the process of cutting now. And so here's the paper that I'm using, online label um, sticker paper. And this is the mat that I'm using. I actually bought this a part of a set separate from Silhouette Studio because uh, I think I overused my old mat, so I have to get more. But 
here you can see the silhouette is cutting the stickers so it's following the red line that you saw inside of the program itself so that's the guide is using to cut around the um the design so here are the final results and so you know I was off a little bit as you can see um, the white portion around you know the sticker it, it's a little uh, it's a little off so this is why I'm going to sell these on my website for discount prices at PiscesIllustrations.com if you guys want to pick these up they're available right now um, I just wouldn't feel comfortable selling these at full price because they're not perfect you know to my standards and these are they're kind of um thin and most of the stickers that I sell on my website are vinyl stickers that um that I design but I get like sticker mule or somewhere to actually print these stickers off for me because of the quality but these are pretty good quality they're just a little on the thinner side and they're um a little a little off but that's okay so if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.